Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with Darth Mod. Last time around we were fighting the Ottomans and we still are fighting the Ottomans. What I w has gone ahead and done is I've split the army in two with the main army continuing towards Constantinople through the way of Sophia, while we have detached the Scottish together with the cavalry and the command by Gregory Lewis and they are making their way down to secure uh, the Greek states or the Greek uh, two provinces Petras and Athens and let's see down in uh, in Syria we're laying siege to Damascus and I think well, we'll see if they... No, they will not agree to surrender. Then we shall have to attack. Which we shall, only losing 500 men. And the army secures yet another region from the Ottoman Empire. I don't think we lost a unit. But it might be well to uh, replenish. We captured Syria. Trains gained. We've got a trade port, we've got this port, naval hospital, we're gonna turn that into rubble. But uh, as we open up into this, we can see where a lot of the Ottoman army seems to be. And that seems to have been up in the Caucasus area, I imagine. Um, not entirely sure if they've... Who are the Ottomans at war with besides us? All these nations are at war with other people. So they are at war with Sweden and 13 colonies. Wow, okay, so what the Ottomans decided to... You know what? Sw didn't Sweden hold the region here somewhere? Which one was... I think it was... Maybe... I think it was like this one. So they had something really far back here. It seems anyways that a lot of their armies are out and about here and it seems also as though they're trying to make up now for their losses by recruiting tons of men from places like Baghdad and uh, probably from Ankara and Anatolia and other places. Someone said in the comment section that I should take over uh, Baghdad and Afghanistan. But I think, you know, and, and the idea was that I would save the American army a load of trouble. The thing is, I think even going into that region, I mean the British were, um, in they had control of Baghdad and they did have control of, in some extent, to Afghanistan, but I don't think really that helped the problem. But we'll see, maybe I can do it better. Oh, we get Cyprus with this as well, and there's an iron mine on Cyprus. I don't know, is there a lot of iron on Cyprus? And we pushed out the navy over here. Uh, we can't really do anything else. I want this army to replenish because it lost a lot of men and there's a risk of a few units getting destroyed here. So I want them to get reinforcements. We got a little crap unit out there. Uh, in North America, we can just take a look because I can't remember what was going on here. Yeah, we're just moving around people and we're trying to cause mayhem within uh, this. I can't see how, how are they regaining the bankruptcy because they don't I mean they're losing money if I set fire to a few other of these places um, this is probably the thing that actually generate wealth for them or if I can get the like main building there we'll probably see complete chaos erupting um, and yeah that's about it so let's go ahead and end turn shall we while we see what the Ottomans are up to. Right, and we're back after that uh, end of turn. The only thing that really happened was that one uh, of the Ottomans' big navies came and chased away one of my navies that is now uh, port at port at Sardinia. Uh, new military technology, quick lime shells, so no longer the smoke thing. Now, I think what's happened instead of the fire it will be white now because it's quick lime um, anyways we'll go ahead and accept that agent detected 
he is still we won the elections like always yes a few other things happen as well the army that was stationed down here that actually didn't move up um, it's now gone and it's besieging Jerusalem with uh, the Royal Irish inside plus two garrison militia units so we'll see how that goes path blocked um, let's see did we get reinforcements that I wanted yes and that means that I can quickly just go ahead and out to resolve this boom and now Sophia is under our control but I think we need to resupply yet again before we push on let's see what does the spy tell me about the capital Anything else? capital lies open what a folly by the Ottomans is this the capital yes it is the capital because we've got capital um you know what we can quickly end this we don't really m this region doesn't really matter we can retake it but if we hold this then the armies which are gathering out there cannot come to their aid. Let's see if we can infiltrate the town. It was successful. Oh yeah, Grand Columbia for some reason decided to declare war on us. Bloody morons. Uh, we're trying to deal with the French. Oh, they actually put an army in here now. Company Fr French Marines. Grenadiers of France, horse grenadiers, and the French musketeers de la garde. So they're actually putting troops in there right now. I'm not entirely sure if France has gone ahead and declared war on anyone else. There's still a war just with Portugal. Well, that's good. Um, but I was hoping that I could maybe get a revolution going there. I don't think you can cause a Republican revolution by you know if I seize it and then let it revolt it's not gonna be anything but the king or what the last sort of people in power were so what we what we need to try to do is somehow um, I don't know what we need to do but we, we we're still trying sort of to make yeah Republican revolution going on there um, you know what without further ado I think we will go ahead and take Constantinople and maybe I should actually fight this one but we'll hold it for now because I want to see how far the Scots get because the Scots are going on to here that's also they can't they were not really powerful enough to actually attack that and uh, we can see here that there's some regions here are in trouble so we're gonna move this guy over to Serbia to prepare against a possible assault by these guys and uh, we're gonna replenish this we're recruiting a lot of um, Hessian skirmishers City besieged Jerusalem. At some point, I'll have to fight back there. Uh, agent detected. Yes, construction. We'll do that one later. What I want to do is the Ottoman navy was last spotted about here, where it chased our navy away. So I want to make sure. I want to check if they're still there. No. Where are they then? We had the Persian navy turn up. And turns out they're kind of crap. I want to hit find that, that Ottoman. Ah, so that after they chased us away, they went to the port on Crete, I believe. Yes, this is Crete. Um. So what? I want to destroy them, but we cannot really do that while they're at port there. But. What we need to do is make sure that if they come out, our two navies are not separated. So we will go ahead and raid the trade here. And make sure they don't get out of there. Then at some point I need to move these guys out to deal with the guys holding the port there. Then later on we could have these guys push out and push these guys out of the port. 
We're building up the infrastructure to be able to recruit more troops. We could have these Dragoons possibly ride out and attack these guys from behind and have the Royal Scots, I mean the Royal Irish, uh, come out and attack them. Um, if really necessary, I could have this army backtrack. We're going to turn this one to trouble because I want to rebuild that and I want to rebuild this one as well. But these will just go ahead and repair because I can upgrade them and there's no point in tearing it completely down because I'm going to need to recruit some troops here. Given what we see on the uh, what's coming down, there's a lot of Ottoman forces. Anyways, we want a... yes, that's what we want. And do we want another one? No. What I probably want to do is not a commercial port here. Maybe you need a commercial port here to get the trade away, but it would have maybe been nicer. You know what? We should really have switched location here rather than a trade port here. Well, we, well, we need a trade port here, I think, to get them out, in and out from Jerusalem. But I guess this one can be a shipyard, and we just don't want it to be an Ottoman shipyard. This can stay as it is. This one, however, is going to have to be changed because it needs to be a European one. So we can get steam power in there, so we can get the maximum amount of cotton out of there. Uh, so that's done. Then it's really the battles here. This one's going to be kind of tricky. Uh, but maybe I'll start with this one. This is kind of small battle though. Compared to say, you know, the conquest of Istanbul. Which would be a rather large battle. So I think we might do that one instead. Um, and then maybe what I, uh, what I really should have done here is I probably should have brought these guys away from Gibraltar and then brought them to support my forces here because we just kind of spread out and you see there's a lot of small Ottoman forces everywhere and uh, they have actually built up quite a force here but enough talk I think let's go ahead and attack Constantinople and take that and that's going to be a major blow to the Ottomans Let's go ahead and play the battle. Okay, so here we have the army. So what I've done is I've split the cannon. So we've got cannon, howitzers, cannon, howitzer, cannon, howitzer in these sort of uh, on the sides and one in the middle. Then I put all the smaller troops in defensive position around this. And all the troops that will attack have been uh, put behind these covers. As I expect a lot of cannon fire to come down. And first... We're just going to see what kind of fire we need to expect from the fort. It's a bit laggy. You know what we want? We have the new quick lime shells. So maybe I should test them out. Those will have kill a lot of people, but I think we need to break down a lot of stuff here. Instead of killing soldiers. But at the same time, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's test this new quick climb shell and see what kind of damage we can um, accomplish with that. I think we have a few coming out of here. There we go. And uh, that was pretty darn effective. It hits very close. It's very accurate. And it slays quite a lot of troops. Oh, does this... Oh, the, the smoke, the other smoke there as well, or the quick climb, um, went out and killed the soldiers over there as well. So I think we're going to continue using the quick climb to uh, break their spirit. I wonder, our artillery is pretty accurate. I wonder if I shoot the, at the gate, if we can break it. Right now, with random cannon shot here and there uh, from the uh, artillery, it doesn't seem as though we're going to be able to break. It seems like we're almost breaking buildings in here instead. Faster than we're breaking the wall, which we're actually actually supposed to be firing at. I'm 
want to see some more howitzer shots going in. Here we go. Here's some coming in. Although they completely failed because they didn't really target anything good there. But imagine those. Yeah, that smoke. Or the quick line. The well, hot click. Quick blah. <laughs> the hot quick line coming in here, killing loads of enemies. And I think these. Since these uh, howitzers are actually targeting the people they're killing, uh, I think that they actually will. They actually will get the kills for it. Normally they don't. Let's see if we can test their defenses. Let's have these units move up. Because the oh these guys can skirmish. That's good. Because then we can have them go up and skirmish against the wall. But these of course are uh, British Fusiliers. They look right like Grenadiers though, with those hats. But they, they certainly doesn't look like a unit that would go into skirmish formation. How's it going with the quick climb? Seem to be killing quite a lot, but what they've done is they put their right, they used the the crappy armed populace on the walls there, and there's 500 men in each of those units. Although I think we just saw a unit there that had that only has 183 men left out of its 500 men. You know what? Let's speed this up. Maybe we can get the the Battle of Athens as well. Let's go ahead and run up. And we see if we can skirmish with the people that are left on the wall. British bombardment here is really tearing the uh, the defenders apart. But of course, they've only put the ill-disciplined troops on the wall. They haven't put their Israeli gar garrisons up there. They are elsewhere, running about in the fort. Our troops are coming closer. And they should be able to fire on the wall at this point. And it's good because it's only a level 1 fort, I think. And so, it's a, uh, so it only has these... It doesn't have the thick defense. Which means that when we fire here, we're going to get more kills. Wait, are they... Isn't the entire unit supposed to fire? It's just first rank. No! No, they, they, they still fire by rank? That's interesting. Are they gonna go through the entire unit though? Or are they still gonna do just three units? Yeah, they're still just gonna do the three first lines. Thing is, we seem to be outranging the enemy anyway, so I'm not entirely sure why we're using skirmish formation. Let's go into line, and we don't need to stretch out the entire way because, well, the enemy doesn't even hold that far. Okay, run into position. Prepare to open fire upon them. The armed populace on the wall is uh, desperate, and so they even. Uh, try to go out of the fort here. Get in line, you dogs! Prepare yourself! These are some very tight formations. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if this is just because I... we went from skirmish to line again that they went... because normally they're not this tight, are they? Someone needs to fire up on the guys that are coming straight at them, rather than firing on the walls. There we go, these guys, these guys are firing. And these guys over there are firing as well. They are firing on the ones actually coming out of the fort. Nice, that cannonball. Oh, they fire overhead. The cannon, maybe we're too close for them to actually fire the cannons at us properly. That's some nice volleys coming out of the, the enemy. 
And uh, we're able to kill quite a few just by the fire here. There's 91 guys here. They're about to fire the cannon, though. Hold on, soldiers! What are you doing now? You gonna attack? I think they've had enough. They don't want to be on the wall anymore. Instead, they'd rather go straight out and face us in the field. Which I don't know how clever that is. Wait, are they pulling up the Israelis? To, uh... To stand on the wall, because that would not be nice. Keep those volleys up. It's almost like a firing squad. They're standing against the wall. They're just taking it. They're not returning fire because, well, half the unit's still inside the fort. Oh yes, the, the Israelis are now on the wall. Quite a few of them. What I'll do is I'll tell the cannons to target specific points in the wall. Let's see, we got that pace to 19, so I think we're going to focus on that. See if we can break that spot. You don't want to fire there? It's down to 24 now, and then we're going to get the cannons. A howitzer to target specific units, so we want to target this one. And you. I want to target... Say this one, or really this one should do that. Um, maybe this one can fire against the gate because I imagine quite a few enemies are going to try to march out of the gate. So these guys charging out. They're getting fire from the flank as they move up. It's about a hundred of them actually made it out here. And they're facing 200 British veteran fusiliers. So it's sword against sword. With these, I don't know, funny hats. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. It looks like someone takes some kind of Play-Doh thing and just popped it on their head and wear kinds of colors. Look, mom, I made the Play-Doh hat. We got one of the Israeli garrison actually moving out and opening fire upon us. Fortunately for them, they send out only about 20 men. Or maybe, you know, more than... No, I, I probably in the beginning there were 20 men. Now they're not. And then they don't even open the door for them. Let us in, you bastards! Oh, there goes the door. Just in time for... Uh, the quick climb to hit and cause damage there. Cost caused a lot of damage there. The wall is at 59%, so soon that will break. And we'll be able to go through. And I think we've already killed off quite a bit of the enemy garrison. I mean, if you look on the walls there, just from the quick climb shot we put down, here's a unit of three men, all st still steadfast, manning the cannons. But I'm not entirely sure how long they will be able to stay there because this entire wall is going to collapse at some point. They still have a few units. So we've got two, more or less, full intact units back here. Uh, well, about three. Atta intact unit. We've got one up here in front. Let's see, maybe if I can get. Let's see, is this this a howitzer? This is a howitzer. This is a howitzer. On all three howitzer, fire on this this unit. See if we can obliterate that, and that will make it easier for us to get through. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, well, we're still fighting here. Shooting on this unit. It's 
78% The howitzer seems to be a bit lost of where to actually aim to hit this unit Because it seemed like they were hit firing at the gate Let's see, I want to see when the howitzers fire again Maybe I have to re-target and tell them to aim sort of for somewhere back here maybe Are they even firing now? No one tell you sure. How it's uh how it's uh there we go. Yeah the howitzers are firing at the exactly at the gate. So maybe we want them to fire more like this. There we go, that was a pretty good hit. Right where they were moving. Continue to hit that unit. Let's see, are we able to break this? Oh, here comes a few howitzer shots. Damn, that killed a lot of them. Hope uh, I wasn't followed up any more shots. Otherwise, we probably could have completely torn that unit apart. 94%, we are about ready to go through. What I imagine, though, is that the enemy will come out to face us. But we will prepare. is about to come apart 98% 99 boom there it goes and one of the ultimate flags went with it one of the units we are through the wall more men died to for the quick climb or by the quick climb I should say it would be nice if we could destroy that wall uh, let's see we got quite uh, far on this side as well. 16%, that wasn't that much. I thought we got 24 on one side. Oh wait, the 24 side was the one we broke. Let's see if they want to come out. And once they're out... I'll tell the men to open fire. So are we all ready? Not just yet, but very soon they are. You know what, we can't wait. Oh, these guys gonna get. These guys gonna get it. I thought they were gonna. Well, I guess they, they stopped shooting at them, seeing as though how few there were. So there's no point, especially since they're running away already. Right, it seems like we're just letting the howitzers do all the work, but we're gonna, we, that's probably the best, because we need uh, as many men left in this unit to be able to hold this region afterwards. What's this? Sneaky! There's one unit that's moved outside the wall. Do we have anything? We got the Welsh Fusiliers is going to run as fast as they can up to that point and protect the back of our unit. We're continuing to volley the enemy. Look at the amount of dead people that are down here. They all just die there. They died all over the place just from the immense bombardment we've uh, put them through. I'm not entirely sure what these guys are up to. You know what, the Welsh Fusilier is going to take too long to get here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot, I was hitting these guys with artillery. Let's see if we can actually break through here. And then we'll have this one deal with the bastards at the gate. And these guys are going to follow up there. The Welsh Fusilier is going to deal with these guys. Okay, they're going to block us from coming through. Oh wait, I've, I've told the Howards to fire at this location. We don't want to be in this kind of tight formation. 
once the howitzers start firing. Oh, the enemy is marching out to greet us. Are we ready to fire on them? Oh, this is going to be really close. And they slowly just turn around. Yeah, they're preparing to fire. No! We're hitting our own men there. Well, we hit them as well. We hit that unit. Oh, crap. This one's actually open fire on us. But as it's open now, we can charge through to get these four units through. And then we need to tell the howitzers to just stop firing at this point. I think we actually broke down everything. The enemy has completely given up. Yeah. We are victorious. Uh, we will end this battle. This heroic battle. At the uh, fort at Constantinople. It wasn't really the mighty walls of Constantinople we were fighting at. Some other crappy fort the uh, Ottomans is building our way. And due to uh, the superiority of our artillery, we were able to completely destroy them. Right, this place, we definitely just need to repair all of this. And make sure that we keep this populace under control. Uh, clamor for reform. Don't really want that, do we? So, where are those universities? There's one. Traditional university. I'm gonna set you on fire. We don't need you. What else? Religious unrest. And then just, uh, they don't like foreign occupation. Make sure to replenish our troops. And... Let's hit these guys with the Scots. Let's go ahead and auto save, and then boom, we'll hit Athens. And here we are at the siege of Aten Athens. And here we are at the siege of Athens. What I've gone and do done is I've concentrated on either flank. Uh, or either corner of the castle and we've got the Highlander uh, Grenadiers on one side and the line infantry on the other we have uh, hidden two guard units over there or two cavalry units these guys cannot hide the general and the lifeguards so I put them behind <coughs> sorry <coughs> I've put them behind the hill and so once the gates have been taken we will uh, ride them through. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and charge the walls. Capture this place. We're just gonna have to go straight in for it. Because we don't have any siege artillery. gonna lose a few men but it seems like they're very disorganized in their defense but there's still a lot of them seems like the um, the grenadiers aren't really gonna be opposed in their attack there's no one there to greet them on the walls and for some reason they're evacuating the place where the normal line infantry the Scottish line infantry will enter so I'm not entirely sure what kind of strange Ottoman um, um, tactic this is now this unit is actually being fired upon you know what there and there why don't you go on this side the, for the line infantry, one will climb right there, you will climb right there, you will climb right there, and you will cry, climb right there. So, I'm sending forth men to 
put up the hooks. Are we getting fired up on here? Possibly. Sending up men to uh, throw the hooks. Let's see, how many hooks are we putting here? We're putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, quite a few. I was afraid when I saw just a few men move up that we wouldn't get enough hooks onto the wall. But it looks like we got quite a few. Hopefully they'll use everyone I've seen. Unfortunately, I've often seen, um, you know, entire regiments of 300 plus men using a single uh, single rope to climb up. As we can see, a lot of people are bunching up used to use this one. When we got... Oh, when, when I said it, they realized and they started moving around. Still, we have 300 men using, what, uh, less than 10 ropes trying to get up here? Well, more than 300 men because there's three units uh, closer to maybe a thousand men climbing up there. This unit is going to have a trouble because that one is, yeah, it's more than just trouble because it's being attacked. The cavalry needs to be pushed in and maybe they can push through the gate. We don't want to fire too early. Looks like the grenadiers then, the grenadiers can definitely hold on against just some uh, Azers which I believe is some kind of skirmish unit. So they should be able to deal with them on their own and then they can move around. Um, the line infantry, however, is going to have a bit more difficulty because most of the enemy army is here. I told these... Yeah, I told them to run, so they're coming. But we have, we already have quite a lot of men up here. I think for most of it, it's just going to be these guys trying to hold on to just climbing up on the wall. Losing quite a few men down here. I think these, well since the Israelis have chain mail on and it's a melee fight like this, uh, you can really see the advantage of having chain mail. But I think uh, even then the bayonet is probably enough to uh, push through the chain mail. Right, let's use your pistols and open fire. Okay, we shot a few of our own. But we definitely shot a few of theirs as well. You know what? Let's just have one of the units there. Fire, maybe. If we just have this one. Or maybe what we'll do is we'll have this one come a bit to the side. So they don't actually fire each other. Fire at each other. Um, the Assers are moving away. We still need to get a few more men up there before we can fully move these guys around. Let's open fire. We're gonna make sure that we get, you know, fire as many of the, you know, of our shots as possible. I'm not entirely sure, but I think maybe for the people firing the pistols back here are maybe killing the guys in front of the unit. There's two enemy units out now. Keep firing your pistols. And then once you have uh, d uh, um, used up all your ammo, you'll charge in with swords in hand. Right, you know what? You guys, the Asser is not going to try to attack you anymore. So why don't you already start to get down here? We can see about getting lines inside. It's probably a good move by these guys not to climb the wall. We're actually going to draw them back. Maybe draw the enemy out a bit further. But these guys though will hold their position or try to continue climb up. Keep firing our pistols. About to run out of ammo. Idiots. Right. Royal Highlanders, Royal Grandier Highlanders, I should say, about to come onto the field. Oh crap, they're climbing, they're climbing down. 
Get information. Prepare to open fire upon the enemy. Right, they don't have a lot of shots left. Let's see, are we gonna get everyone? Yes, the last guy is climbing right there. I wonder if someone's sitting in there. He could have looked up their skirts of 300 different men. Never in history has a Ottoman defender seen so many penises pass by his window. At your swords, gentlemen, charge! At the same time, they retreat, try to retreat inside the fort, dragging the cavalry with them. And these guys have opened fire upon the guys holding the wall. Oh, we're firing from these. These guys are starting to open fire. Right, this unit is even opening up, up fire on the Assers. I want you to form line. Oh, these guys even have grenades. That's good. I forgot about that. This unit of 500 men would definitely need some grenades to blow them away. How's it going for the heavy cavalry? Well, they're kind of stuck here trying to get through here. Imagine going through here with a horse with all these braced bayonets coming at you. But at least they are occupying the enemy for a while. These guys. You know what? We, we're just gonna have to hold here for a while. Which unit is about to break? This one. Why don't you come over here? You can stand like that. Maybe even fire down. We're not gonna attack the house just yet. Okay, I want you guys to come across like that. Run. We're still holding these guys at the gate, but I'm soon going to have to pull back the cavalry. They haven't lost that many men, though. And then what I think we'll do is we'll pull the Scots back a bit. So they can prepare. If the enemy follows uh, the cavalry out, which I don't think they will. I think they will try to go for the Scots. What we could do is actually have a Scottish unit run up here. Throw grenades right into this mess. Kill a lot of people. The thing is though, I'm kind of worried about the entire thing crashing, which I don't want. We can pull back the cavalry at this point. So we don't completely lose them. Especially now since the Royal Grenadier Highlanders have opened fire and you can see already the devastation on the Ottomans. And they're stuck in tight formation. Close there at the door. What they're gonna do? Are they gonna charge out? They're gonna be open, in the open, having cavalry attacking them, or are they gonna move back? They've already fought for quite a while, so they're tired, and now they've got a so and so, like a thousand Highland Grenadiers, just putting every single last damn musket, firing it down upon them. They're doing it. The commander is given the order. Retake the battle flag. Oh, there he died. Retake the main part of the fort at all costs. But look at it. Even though the charge is a weird ass column, there's a square there trying to hold. And the Highlanders. The Highland. Line infantry has successfully held out so they can come down. There's absolute slaughter here of the armed populace that try to go up against my well trained Scotsman. How's it going for that unit? Oh we're absolute we're gonna slaughter there's a single guy left here. He really wants to protect this place. Oh, there he goes. He should have run. Kept the unit alive as it were, since he was the only one. Although he was just armed and popular, so it wouldn't really have mattered. Right, I want... No, keep firing. Keep just pushing as much fire down upon the bastards as possible. 
Um, no, we'll take this one. Go to the square. And then form a, s uh, form a square on the square. When these guys open fire, well, the, uh, the square is surely done for. We're gonna hold till the very end. Allah be merciful. Well, they call Israelis, and maybe they're. I didn't actually ever check if they were some kind of Jewish infantry. Only ten men left. Right, these guys are. Oh, yeah, the Grenadiers can't form square. All the enemies are retreating, so I believe Athens is ours. End the battle. This one's probably better to make a screenshot out of than the other one. Here we go. The yeah, the greatest enemy of good plan is a dream of a perfect plan. And there we have it. We lost 511 Scottish troops, or possibly cavalry as well uh general's bodyguard managed to get one kill i don't know how i guess maybe someone retreated and run right past them or something i don't know but royal Highlander grenadiers did the best this one though gained what's that five that's pretty darn nice and so <laughs> athens is now under our control uh, which means we got a lot of regions here. We got these three. Well, in this episode, we got uh, one, two, three, four regions. That's pretty good. Although, a lot of these regions here is going to be hard to hold on to. Let's see, can I get the spy maybe to... We need to check what's out there. I want to see what's out there. The thing is, I think we hold most of the regions that we want from the Ottomans. Um, I'm not entirely sure. The thing is, we want to release some of these areas, but I want to keep some of the areas as well. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll go a bit further, I think, before we force the Ottomans to give up. Maybe we'll force them to just hold what is today Turkey with holding just Anatolia. Because this seems a lot like the uh, the Turkish borders of today, more or less. We might uh, go ahead and take maybe that. It's a shame that these guys have uh, built the port there instead of a trade port, because then we could trade with them. Maybe we should invade them, build a trade port, and then leave. And then maybe maybe we should uh, what we could do is we could march on Baghdad and then th that and Baghdad and then we can make peace with the Ottomans and then we can focus on the Persians and we can open up a second front on the Mughal Empire and then someone wanted me to uh, attack and release Hungary as its own nation I'm not entirely sure if they're if uh, they're in or what kind of rebels will take over that as well as the fact that the Austrians are my allies a long-running ally and I don't want to backstab them and I kind of need them to hold the power balance in Europe as we can see the Prussians have uh, gained quite a lot here they hold um, a lot of territory in Europe at this point and I uh, want to make sure they don't get out of hand. That's why we had to break the French. Um, anyways, I think that's about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!